Okay, so welcome to this video. It's been requested by lots of people watching. This is the 2.0 on how to set up your Oculus Quest or Quest 2 with the Asus ROG Zephyrus G14 laptop. All right, first thing you should do is check what version of Windows 10 that you're running. See here, you can go to update security, check for updates, the quickest way to really find out and see that I'm up to date and you'll see that I'm running Windows 10 Home Edition version 2004 make sure that you're running version 2004 or newer first step go to oculus.com slash rift slash setup get yourself the oculus rift software open it up Hit yes. Okay, it's going to take about 10 minutes to install, maybe a little bit less. Let's speed up this process here. Okay, after it's installed, click next. Turn on the software. Make sure that your Oculus is connected. See, I put it on the right side through USB-C. And it's connected into my Oculus Quest. All right, let's see that showed up. There's Baxter. Now that it's powered opened up my task manager you can see that the oculus client is running so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for where that oculus client is living I'll see that right here it's in the services as well and it's running I'm gonna find all four of those files go into graphics settings I'm gonna browse for the all four of those files you'll see the directory in the program file oculus folder first one sitting under support and client find oculus client.exe add it next thing you want to do is go to options and set it to high performance so it's not using that built-in amd radeon graphics Okay, next ones you want to find are sitting in the Oculus Runtime folder, and it's all three of those. OVR Server 64, High Performance. OVR Reader.exe basically tells other games to turn on the OVR software and OVR service launcher and that is what your Windows fires up with okay now all those are set to high performance we'll move on to the next step fire up that oculus software you'll see right now I'm looking through my headset filming it on my phone just go through all the continue prompts enable oculus link okay just make sure you click enable you're gonna need your oculus remote it will not hand track once you're in this menu maybe the quest 2 will I have no idea but the quest 1 does not all right, you'll see I'm going to run a quick test. I'm just going to fire up Oculus Home. And you're going to see how terrible it runs because it's going to be running off of the AMD processor. All right, it's already taken a long time to load because it's using that built-in processor APU. It's not even a card. It's just an extension of the processor, actually. You'll see it's all bugging out, freaking out. So what I want to do is I'm just going to disable that using the device manager. 
And here's the proof right there. It's using 100% of my APU instead of my NVIDIA GPU, which is currently 29% from recording this video instructions, Streamlabs, or OBS Streamlabs. Okay, see so I turned on Device Manager, go into Display Adapters, okay, find the AMD card, Graphics, and you're just going to disable it. Now, if you have two monitors hooked in, that monitor is going to turn off, and you'll only have your laptop monitor running 60 hertz. Okay, you'll also not be able to hibernate your computer. So let's just restart it real quick. Okay, see anything else? Just click restart anyways, or wait it out. Okay, fast forward this. Takes a little bit longer to turn on. Once it is turned on, fire up the Oculus app again. Okay, you'll see other things turn on. Now here I am back in the headset. Just gonna click allow. It's tougher to film <laughs> and and use it than you think. Okay. All right. Enable Oculus Link. Okay. I'm gonna go back into home. You'll see that's gonna fire up way quicker and it's gonna look way better. Okay. This is just a quick test. Yeah. See, the frame rate's already much better. It's firing up. There's actual texture work now. Um, looks good. Okay. Now before we start playing, we have to re-enable that AMD card. Okay. What we basically did was we tricked the software into using the NVIDIA as a priority graphics card. So let's just turn this on. Enable device in the graphics tab of the device manager. Okay. See, so I get my monitor back. Okay, we're back. Uh, we're able to screen record again. If uh, you want to listen through your headset, turn that on. You can see me fire up Oculus Mirror. That way, I can show you guys what the uh, Oculus is rendering. You don't have to do this. I'm just showing you that it's now running off the Nvidia card. Yeah, you'll see it looks much better. It uh, has texture work, and it's in higher resolution. Okay, this mirror software is still kind of kind of weird, but uh, it'll at least show you what I'm looking at without having to put a phone through the Oculus. Okay, everything loads quick. Little Easter eggs all over the place. Okay, I'm in the menu inside of the Oculus Home, running off of the, the Quest VR link. I'm going to turn on VR Chat to show you that it, it works just fine. You'll see that it's running off the NVIDIA card right there. That's NVIDIA's logo on the right. And there it goes. VR Chat working just fine. I didn't have to do anything crazy after uh, after the initial setup to make it work this way. I'm back in Oculus Home. Let's uh, check the uh, check the store. See how everything loads. This game came out uh, this week. Interested in trying it out? Okay. See in settings that uh, graphics set to automatic. And now I'm in the task manager view, and uh, to get a better frame rate from the Quest Link, you're going to make sure that the OVR server underscore 64 or x64exe is set to highest priority. You can just do that by right clicking. Here's DCS running with that enabled. Okay, frame rate's a little bit worse because uh, I'm using uh, OBS to record right now, so that's priority. But yeah, you're just flying around, fire up the that 30 millimeter cannon and uh, have some fun and that is how you get VR to work on a Asus ROG Zephyrus G14 laptop any questions just leave them below thanks for watching